This patient is undergoing epilasic in their right eye. This is a Moria epilasic epitome. Suction ring is being placed on the eye. Firm pressure is applied before the suction is turned on. The machine will tell you when you've got good suction and I ask the patient if the light is dimming out. Once they say the light's dimming out and I've got good suction, I then add some fluid to the surface and then go to position one on the, my, the epitome pedal. The position one is a rather slow position and we will see coming up on the right side of the screen the beginning of the epithelium coming up into the epitome right there. Once the epithelium comes up, I go to position two, which is a little bit faster. And I remain on position two until the blade reaches about the center of the cornea, at which point I can go to position three on the foot pedal until I reach the end. There, the microcurtum has reached the end. I then release the suction and remove the epitome from the eye. The epithelium sometimes remains in the epitome, but here the epithelium has remained on the cornea with a mild hinge nasally. I check the surface of the cornea to make sure it looks smooth, which it does, and then I remove the residual epithelium. I then dry the cornea, increase the laser magnification to 1.6 on the Visex S4 laser, center the laser treatment, set the tracker, and do the ablation. Once that's complete, I then place an ice, ice popsicle on the cornea to cool it down, after which I often use mitomycin C 0.02% for 12 seconds on the corneal surface. Once that's done, I irrigate the corneal surface with 30 cc's of cold saline. After that, I use some antibiotic steroid and non-steroidal medication drops, along with a bandage contact lens which point the procedure is complete.